look at me. Here I am, and here I can be mountain, sea, or desert. Wind, mud, or motivation. Like his motivation, or hers. Now I am their path. Lonely, introspective, extreme. Beautiful. I'm as many paths as the people who decide to follow me. So different. They come from all over the world, naive, unaware. Some will take me as a race. Others will simply try to enjoy the suffering. Look at them, and look at me. I am Badman. Para mí Badlands es sobre todo un desafío personal porque tengo muchas ganas de, de ver dónde están mis límites y cómo puedo enfrentarme a ellos. Al final son 750 kilómetros y por mucho que, que tú hayas entrenado, si es la primera carrera que haces de esta distancia, pues no, no se entrenan 750 kilómetros. I choose Badlands because uh, it's uh, something completely new to me. It's, uh, it's off-road, it's uh, not uh, on the road where I'm used to it, and um, it will be a completely different challenge. It's very important to know how to face yourself with your fears, with your moments of weakness. So I have a lot of hope to see how that affects me mentally and physically and how I get to the end. I fear most about this race probably will be the heat, to be honest. And that's usually, you know, you gotta be pretty careful to, to manage your effort when it's that hot. Um, other than that, I mean, I feel pretty ready for just about anything else. It will be hard, of course, but I think this is part of any beautiful adventure, so I'm looking forward to it. It's my first ever ultra endurance race, and it's all in gravel, and I think the entire thing is quite scary. I'm probably most nervous about riding in the desert at night because my eyesight isn't super. <laughs> so I'm a bit nervous about that. I love uh, Overpass My Limits. This is uh, a new adventure for me and uh, I'm sure that I'm enjoying myself uh, every ride and um, at the finish line I'm a new person. I expect, uh, first of all, a really nice scenery. I expect uh, very very hot base. I actually, I fear the heat. I'm not really good with the heat, and uh, I just want to have a fun there. I'm still, still tired from the Silkwood Mountain Race, but I don't know, maybe my legs will come back and I'll be able to do something good. And that's how you begin. Confident, reckless. What will go through your head? Or rather, what won't? You prepared to visit me. You feel strong, invincible, or that's what you think, because I don't intend to make it easy for you. You'll soon notice how your muscles begin to fatigue as they thirst for oxygen. You will feel it as pain, and that's when your doubts will appear, alone with only your thoughts, feeling your heart beating fast and time running slow. But that's what you decided to do, isn't it? I even admire you. We'll see how far you manage to get.
Cycling is freedom for me. It's uh, just to be out, be free, enjoy myself. Adventure, it's, it's my passion. Badlands for me is the most beautiful and popular unsupported bikepacking event in Europe because uh, the area is simply absolutely spectacular. You start in Granada, then you're going to Guarafa, which is a place which is not popular at all, but it's absolutely mind-blowing. Then you cross the mountains to Tabernas, and Tabernas is the only uh, natural desert in Europe. Then you go to Cabo de Gata, uh, spectacular beaches. You find everything on the space course, and uh, it's absolutely mind-blowing. Badlands is a personal challenge because um, you try to overcome your limits, you try to overcome what your biggest fears, maybe riding in the dark, maybe riding in extreme conditions. Uh, sometimes small things are, um, are really important, like having good food, having a good stop that gives you the motivation, the mental part to go on and keep pushing strong on the, on the best way you can. If uh, the moral goes lower, then uh, automatically the physique goes slower. Uh, esta es mi quinta, quinta pinchada, y apenas no llevo ni 100 kilómetros. Descansando un poquillo después del tramo este de arena, que es que te clavas y, y cuesta avanzar, y esta subida además, vienes tocadillo y y se hace eterna, pero bueno, comes un poco, bebes agua y las patas vuelven otra vez al sitio. Cansado, pero, pero bien. Sufriendo, pero disfrutando. I love loneliness during races. It's awesome because um, this is one of the situations where you really can find loneliness. Just you and your bike out there, maybe in the middle of the night with the stars. And in this kind of races, you will get the chance to be the only person in the surrounding of, I don't know, 20 kilometers in the middle of the night and you will know there is nobody. And for me, this is a feeling which is incredible to describe. I absolutely love it. Desierto de Taberna. Yeah, I think this is going to be technical. I need to find somewhere to have a wash <laughs> and a meal. I haven't really eaten a meal since, well, before, like, yeah, Saturday. So I, I, I need some good food and some good rest and a shower, a long shower. I knew it was going to be hard, but it's incredibly hard. It's so difficult because uh, there's so many remote areas where you're just out there with no one and nothing for a long time and the terrain is, is brutally hard. I arrived at this point and I'm gonna finish, for sure, I'm gonna finish. Had some mechanical problems but made it to Almeria to the bike shop to fix it. Could go on. Now I um, made it up this hill. It's very long and rocky but um, if you go slowly and be patient, everybody can make it. Muy dura, mucha piedra suelta y muy difícil, ¿eh? Coger tracción con esto. 
Pero bueno, ya estamos arriba, a ver lo que me espera, a ver si puedo llegar hoy a la Capileira. Estamos teniendo muchísimos problemas, perdíamos líquido, las ruedas tubelizadas no iban bien, optamos por meter una cámara como solución de compromiso y está siendo un caos. You have to reach like a sort of uh, nirvana, you know? Like when it's too steep, when it's too hot, when you don't have enough water, enough food, you just try to focus on what's the next, like the next resource, the next flat part or the next downhill will be relieving. So um, you just have to, to stay calm and then keep going, trying to save a bit of the energy, not getting nervous, not rushing. And that's a key item to, to overcome the, the limit. I told you I wouldn't make it easy. Now you understand, don't you? It's okay. There you go. <laughs> yes, celebrate. Raise your arms. Cry. Shout, you deserve it. And you, and all of you. Because not everyone is capable of doing something like this. I'm a tough path to choose. The deep way, the committed way. Crossing deserts, climbing to the top of a mountain, remaining forever in your hearts. An experience I wouldn't wish on anyone, but I definitely recommend to everyone. That's me. I am Badlands. It's a epic cycling challenge. Truly hot, truly steep, truly long. But if you're up for it, then go for it and try it out. Muy duro, pero a la vez increíblemente bonito y la diversidad de los sitios y de los paisajes y de todo es inigualable. Muy 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 salvaje. I was expecting tough, but that was just the heat and the like the, the steepness of the climbs was brutal. And even you are suffering a lot, you know. You have bad time, but then you look around. It's epic. It's it's un, uh, undescribable. Superación es lo que es lo que he aprendido. Que se pueden se pueden hacer las cosas, aunque creamos que no. Hoy no pensé que llegaba aquí a a la meta y, y aquí estoy.